Jambur is one of the villages regarded as a stronghold of the ruling coalition. And after the defeat of the former president Yaya Jami in the December 1st elections, supporters of the new government were out to celebrate their victory. The celebrants also took opportunity to urge the new government to help construct the road network linking Farato to Jambur. Coalition da mama nyinke de atol mini yaloko atol le karteo sodo atol le karteo fai. The coalition alone did not do it. But you also played a part. If you had not voted, we would not have achieved this victory. Abdullah MK Bojan spent the past 24 years away and opened his return. The veteran civil servant is hoping to see a new Gambia that respects the rule of law and the rights of people. I think uh, we should make sure that at least we don't experience anything of this nature. And the only thing that we can uh, do about that is not simply by saying that we don't want it. We have to act. We have to assume full responsibility of our country. <laughs> Elsewhere in Sukuta, a similar event was organized by a group called Sope Adamabaro. Organizers said the event was meant to fulfill a promise they made during the presidential election campaign. To help Adamabaro in nation building and youth and, and empowerment. She said the group is ready to support the new government in the development of the country. We, the youth and the, the people of Group Sope Adamabaro, we are very um, grateful to him. We rally behind him in everything he is doing. They were out to celebrate historic victory. But these communities are also urging government to help improve their lives. Saido Kamara, GRTS News.